Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making the Karata Leg Skewers from the Star Trek Cakebook. The ingredients that I'm going to be using are some ground turkey, soy sauce molasses, tahini and vegetable oil, rice vinegar, some sriracha, garlic, salt, pepper, and smoked paprika, some anchovies, an egg, I've got a little bit more salt here, I've also got some panko breadcrumbs. All the ingredient amounts will be down in the description as always. So with all that, let's go ahead, get some of this stuff moved out of our way, and we can start bringing this dish together. I want to start off by making the karate sauce. And for that, I'll be adding the soy sauce, the molasses, the tahini, garlic, the sriracha, the rice vinegar, vegetable oil, the smoked paprika, the salt, and the black pepper into the base of my food processor bowl, well, actually my blender bowl, but you can use a food processor here as well. And I'm going to go ahead and get these blended up. Now that I have the karate sauce blended up, I'm going to go ahead and set it over to the side for a little bit and bring in another blender base and add in my egg and just the anchovy fillets from a two ounce can of anchovies in olive oil. That's all I'm going to be adding into this blender base. I need to puree this until the anchovies have turned into a fine paste and mixed in well with the egg. Now that I have the anchovies and egg mixture, I'll add in my panko breadcrumbs, the salt, and all of this. I'm also going to be adding in one teaspoon of the karate sauce, which that should just about do it, and then this just gets all mixed together. Now that I have all the ingredients incorporated to, into my turkey meat, I'm going to pop this into the refrigerator for 30 minutes so that those flavors can kind of start setting up, and that will help firm up our meat also, so it will be a little bit easier to roll it into meatballs. After setting up in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, I went ahead and brought the meatball mixture out and divided it into 20, roughly 1 inch size meatballs. I'm going to set those up there and bring in my cookie sheet that I've gone ahead and lined with parchment paper. I did forget to mention that you will need four bamboo skewers or metal skewers if you have them. If you are using the bamboo ones, make sure you soak them for at least half an hour in water so they don't burn in the oven and I did do that while they were sitting or while the meatball mixture was sitting in the refrigerator and for these I'm going to thread five of our meatballs onto each one of the bamboo skewers. Once you've got all of the meatballs speared onto your bamboo skewers brush them with half of the karate sauce. I did divide this away from the remainder of what I have. I don't want to brush any raw meat onto these after they've already been baked because we will be brushing these once again after they come out of the oven. Now that I have both sides of the meatballs coated with the karate sauce, these are going to go into a 375 degree oven where they're going to bake for 20 minutes. The karate leg skewers are out of the oven. As soon as they came out, I went ahead and brushed them with a little bit more of that remaining karate sauce. And now all we have to do is give them a try. They smell really good, though I can really smell the anchovies. But let's find out how much of that anchovy flavor has come through. I've got to say the karate sauce is really the highlight of this dish. I really do like all the flavors going on in it. And I'd definitely like to try it out on some other recipes. I'll have to look in the book and see if there are any more that use it because... The sauce is very, very good. The meatballs themselves, though, you definitely can tell that there are anchovies in it. It's not overwhelmingly fishy, but it, you can definitely get a strong hint of them being in there. I think if I make these again, I would definitely cut those anchovies down in half. I don't think I quite needed as many as it has. 
And yeah, you definitely want a little bit of that extra sauce to dip these in because like I said, it is the highlight of the dish. But well, that is going to be it for me for the day. If you all have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys try this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.